A sad update to a story we first brought you earlier this week. The LA County USC Medical Center nurse who was attacked at a bus stop has died of her injuries. KCAL 9's Lori Perez is live outside LAPD headquarters in downtown LA with the latest on the attack investigation, Lori. Well, Leslie, what a stunning loss for those who knew her and for the community at large. Sandra Sandy Shells was a cherished nurse and neighbor. She's just a beautiful person, just a beautiful inside and out. It hurts so bad just to think about what happened to her. It's hard for me to, to, to hold back the tears. Neighbors who lived near nurse Sandra Shells for more than four decades say she lived a life dedicated to others, to her patients, her parents. I just know that she loved to help people. She, she, she loved people and she loved to help people. And, and I just know that she, that was her life, really. She worked all the time. The 70-year-old was on the way to work last week, waiting for a bus at this stop near Union Station when police say a man slapped shells without warning or provocation. Investigators say the nurse fell and hit her head on the concrete. She was taken to County USC, where she worked as an ER nurse. The hospital released a statement Sunday announcing her death, saying Sandra Shells will forever be remembered for her compassionate care and unmatched dedication dedication to her patients and her community throughout her 38-year career at LAC USC. Using security camera video, LAPD on Thursday quickly found the suspect sleeping nearby, identifying him Sunday as Kerry Bell, a 48-year-old unhoused man with a criminal record here and in other states. Hours after the attack, her co-worker told us other hospital workers have also been attacked in and around County USC. There's a lot a lot of um, dangerous people out in the street. You know, it's, it, we always have to be worried about are we gonna get to our cars safe and nothing's being done about it. County Supervisor Hilda Solis wants to change that in a statement Sunday saying it is a heartbreaking loss to lose a hero. As chair of the Metro Board of Directors, I will continue to push for an enhanced safety plan so we can prevent tragic incidents like this from happening again. Shell's neighbor, a former police officer, has another suggestion. That man should never be allowed on the streets again, ever. He should never be out on the streets again to, to do it again. Now, Bell's bail has been set at $2 million. Meanwhile, Shell's friends and co-workers plan to hold two vigils for her on Wednesday from 6 until 8 in the morning and 6 until 8 at night. And that's going to be at the bus stop on Cesar Chavez between Vignes and Lyons. In downtown Los Angeles, I'm Lori Perez. Back to you. Just so sad. Thank you so much, Lori.